what's going on guys and welcome back to boat art kiko's thanks for clicking on this video i'm josh and uh, we have had a little bit of trouble here we have had something happen that you don't want to happen as you can tell from the thumbnail and the uh, introduction to the video we have a couple of bottle babies and you never want that but sometimes things just happen but this time this one hurts just a little bit more let me get into that and tell you what's going on with that situation and why we have a couple bottle babies so uh, a while back we purchased a doe online and uh when we got her here you guys i'll show you a little bit of footage of her boom computer got her 2300 going to josh lapin dodge city texas thank you josh nice female when we got her here she was you know doing great uh, she adjusted well with the herd she was bred and we knew she was going to kid right around this time so uh she kitted she kitted this weekend and she had two little kids a buck and a doe she had them cleaned up uh very good and uh when we seen her with these older kids we decided that we would pin her and put her in a pen so uh, her and the babies could adjust no older kids no older does are pushing them around this doe she was the type of doe that wanted to stay kind of off to herself she just didn't stay up in the middle of the herd so she kind of stayed out on the outskirts but she was up doing good had the kids cleaned off had them nursing and she was doing good well this morning when joe went out and uh checked we found the doe uh dead and this is the doe uh that we paid $2,300 for in the sale. And these are some things that it's kind of tough to swallow. You know, we had a lot invested in her. We wanted to get some kids on the ground out of her. We've had luck with the other ones. We don't know what the cause was, but um, something was an underlining issue with her. And we really don't know what it was. Uh, she was healthy and uh, she was doing good raising the kids and just all of a sudden the next morning she was gone uh, laid in the pen dead kids are now adjusting to the uh, us bottle feeding them we don't like bottle babies but sometimes in a situation like this you have no choice but to take care of them so we're teaching them how to grab the bottle and that's a process in itself milk and this is an evaporated milk Put this up. I might put just a little bit of heat on this, not much. Take long. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. This is little, this is a little buck here. It's a good size, kids. Yeah, they're not, you know, real small. It was so. He's working on it now. And it lasts about three and a half hours. Yeah. This one. Pretty good. You got some suction going on. Yeah, that's good. Make stand up. Tall kids. Well, you get... I try to do that in case they poop on me. <laughs> Man, get it going. Come on, little girl. 
try to support them. Yeah, until they get good to where they'll latch on. Them having to learn this. Yeah. They know how to suck on their mama. So uh, you've seen us bottle feeding the little babies, and what we're doing is our mixture is uh, we buy we bought half gallons of uh, whole vitamin D milk, half gallon of buttermilk, and a pint of um, evaporated milk. So we take uh, a cup out of the vitamin D, pour in a half a cup of buttermilk, half a cup of the uh, evaporated milk, mix that in with the vitamin D, and then that's what we're giving them right now. That seems to work. That has worked for us in the past when we've had bottle babies. So that's what we're feeding them now. We're going to continue to take care of these little babies and uh, get them up and get them going. That was a complete surprise for me this morning when I went to feed. I, I found that young doe that had just kitted uh, about two or three days ago, and she had died. And uh, the night before, she showed no signs. She was up uh, eating her hay and her feed, and the kids are nursing, and found her the next day. So uh, I'm at odds as to what, what could have happened. So if you guys are interested in these caps right here, I have a handful of them and uh, what you can do is you can email me or go down to my Facebook page message me off that and uh, I've got just a handful of these leather type stitched and then I have I just got these other ones in today so they're, they're better they are the better quality caps and I paid a little bit more money for them so the caps with the white stitching are 30 bucks that includes shipping and uh, the box that it comes in that i have to pay for and then these are 35 so if you're interested do me a favor just uh email me or um look me up on facebook if you have a facebook and uh, you can send me a message there but i get lots of questions about my caps people like them i really like the logo the caps turned out great so if you would like one just send me a message i'll try to get you one i appreciate it like a damn milk goat I imagine that's where it's coming from. I don't know what she keeps waiting on. <laughs> Do you? <clears throat> All right, guys, I just wanted to walk around and show you some of the goats, how they're growing, how they're doing. These babies are uh, very active. They're hitting the creep feeder pretty hard. But I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it is what it is, and that's just the case. Uh, sometimes things happen, and you got to deal with it. That's a pretty good hit for us. Uh, we expected big things out of her, and uh, it just didn't happen. You know, we don't know exactly what the cause of it was. Um, we didn't send her off to have her investigated to see. We've lost enough money, so we're going to move on from it. We're going to try to raise these bottle babies, send the buckling to the uh, market, and maybe keep the doling. I don't know. Um, I'm not a fan of pocket goats is what I call them. They like to hang out in your back pocket because they are raised that way. Uh, if we had a doe that was about to kid, we would try to graft the kids on if we could. We would try that, but we just don't have anything right now. So just want to give you guys an update, let you know what's going on. Sorry about the bad news, but... That's just the way it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you on the next one.